Hello. Oh my god, you changed your picture. Look at my hair. <laughs> it's beautiful. I got this from Alex <laughs> Stein. It looks great. I never gave it back. He I never gave many... it back. <laughs> I never gave it back. <laughs> oh wait, well, that was actually his. I thought you got that like at wherever you were, Universal or something. We were at Universal together, and he wore it to do a stupid skit. He dressed up like this and ran around Harry Potter world saying J.K. Rollins hates, you know, trans people. Now I'm like, what the freak is wrong with this buddy? Oh, my God. Look who's here. <laughs> what the freak Sorry. is wrong with this? So then like, he took it and he, he put it in my book bag. He's like, can you hold this for me? And, and he then he it. left. And I never he didn't want to keep it. <laughs> and then he texts me. He's like, I'm in Dallas. Are you in Dallas? I was like, I live in Florida, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in Florida. Mail it to him. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing? We got Jade today. We're going to talk about his book. I got one. You got an early copy. Yeah, it's wonderful. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute, though. Let's Let's say hi to everybody. Look who's first. Hi, Lulu. Lulu Blue. Late and Jay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hello, Holocron. How are you? A2D2. Hi, A2. Look at all the blue balls in the chat. I like it. I love What's it. What's up, Gravey? You got to say his name is Gravey. You got to say it like that. Like that's the way it's pronounced, just so you know. I just call him Gravy. It's Great Vey, but okay. What's up, TD? Hi, Trey. See, Trey. Vince McMahon. <laughs> you can, you can fight milk it. winners. We are. I chugged it. Um, How did it taste? Okay. What did you have in yours? I had, so I did. Um, I hate this. He mic. was super I tried late. To get rid of, sorry. I'm just sorry. He was not. He wasn't actually late. Um, I had vanilla almond milk. Um, I had this rum mojito mix thing, which I think that is what saved me, but it also almost killed me because it was bubbly. So like when I got to the end, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to burp, <laughs> but I didn't, I was good. And I spilled a little bit and I'm like, oops, I spilled a little bit. And then I look up and Cody's just covered. And I was like, "Never mind, I'm good. <laughs> when the guys do it, they go hard and it's all over the place. I was just, I like, had a little bit of pirate rum, just a little bit, but I had raw eggs. So did I. I had two. He did four. You, did you do four? Wait, did you have, have double four. fight milk? Oh, see, I only four. had two eggs. You're we supposed to do. He did double. I didn't. I only had two eggs. Thank God. <laughs> it was, I, and oh then my I God. added because I can't really drink milk. Didn't you pour coffee in it, too? That's probably what got you. I saw you, I pour, you poured coffee in it. Maybe it was a little bit of coffee. I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Maybe it was a little bit of coffee. Mm -mm. Maybe it was a little bit of coffee. It was late. And then... uh. Mm. Hello, everybody. I drank what the it. Heck? I drank it all. Andrew Tate's genital warts is here. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> what I find funny about that account, that is my very first drunk 3PO logo that he has there on his avatar. People don't realize that. Oh, that's an old one. That's old, man. Somebody What's made up, that for Tara? me. Oh. Hello, everybody. I'm trying to go through. If I Hi. miss anybody, I'm sorry. If I miss you, hello still. Am I lactose intolerant? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Drunk 3PO Hello. is the most overrated channel. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Game Rare, what? Isn't, it, isn't today your birthday? Happy birthday. Hold on, hold on. Is it your birthday? Then I got to do the birthday thing. Hold on. Jay will sing to you while I get something. <laughs> okay, or not. He'll just be quiet. Jeez. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Entertain the chat. Happy... I'm looking for a happy birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm wait. I don't want to sing happy birthday because you. Okay, here, here, here. Hold on. You're gonna do G something. Yeah, it's gonna be wonderful. Gaming or what? This is what I do when people come on here and it's their birthdays. Okay, you're welcome. Let me make sure I sh I boomer this all the time. Gotta make sure I share the audio. Here you go, gaming or what? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> President, happy birthday to <laughs> you. Wayne's World 2. The first one. Oh, is that the first one? <laughs> Let's just leave it there for a minute. <laughs> it is Wayne's World. It's the first one, yeah. 
Happy birthday, gamer or what? Hello. Hello. Holy Look at all the blue balls in the chat. I love it. Yeah, I am. I'm about 50 away. Almost there. Yes. Rum. Whoa, the chat just jumped on me. What's up, D-Day? Hello, Aaron. I'm trying to zoom through here so we can start talking. My bad. It is a great movie. <laughs> Okay, Not anyways, good. anyways, how's everyone doing? What are you, what have you been up to, Jay, besides your um international book tour? Uh working on my overrated channel. And uh <laughs> that's pretty much it. Getting ready to go to Vegas to uh hang out with everybody. That'll be from fun. G and G and everything. And then uh I'm actually going to Super Nintendo World while I'm out there. Oh, the California one obviously yeah yeah i'm looking forward to that i don't it's it i i can't stand the way they do this but it it's no complaint no complaining it's once i get out there then it's like i got a call and then they're gonna be like uh um i can call and then they're gonna get us our tickets so what's up roto dang Fusion, oh, you he's... just you just hating on me in here aren't you <laughs> Roto's right. gonna be there. You're gonna meet Roto finally. Wait, oh, you, didn't yeah, meet, yeah, you haven't yeah. met Roto yet, right? I've never met him. No. Mm. More blue Not balls. Um, no, I don't. Not yet. I gotta figure out how to do that. I do have a Rumble though. It's a. Uh, it's in my link tree thingy in my uh des description there. And thank you guys for dropping all of Jay's link. His book link and all of his other links are also. Oh, are also saw, in the description. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to going to Super Nintendo World. That's going to be... Uh, I've watched a couple videos awesome. on it. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of cute how they have the um, like the food there. It's all like toadstool it's theme. Small, I like that. But it's small, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. I've never been to that park ever, so I don't even know. Yeah. No, it looks like fun. The Florida one's going to be better, though. I'm going to wait. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be massive. Yeah, it's like if you drive Pat, like, um, I don't you didn't go to did you go to Megacon? I don't think you did. No, I missed it. Right next to Megacon, they're freaking building that thing. And it's like, it, oh, that's it's where it's going to be. Oh, OK, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hello, Americus. What's oh, Chad's jumping on me. Hi, Nick. Um, oh, I was going to say something I forgot. Sorry, I'm tired. I didn't sleep. I, I was up late last night so i got caught right, you're in florida now but i don't know if you have a florida number did you get the alarm that went off the amber alert thing or the test yeah the test yeah no i mean it's i don't have a florida number now but i guess my phone knows that i'm in florida so because i got it i was like what the heck yeah like both of my both my both my iphones went off <laughs> like it was like at 4 25 in the morning and we're like what was still heck? up i was still up <laughs> <laughs> you had to go get it, and then, yeah, and, it, and then like the governor tweets out today. Sorry about that, everybody. Oops. Sorry, sorry that you got this alarm. I was like, what is happening at four o'clock in the morning? Um, because the other phone, uh, let's see, the other phone, my phone was on my nightstand, the other phone was over on the dresser, and it was like going off. So I had to get up. It was wild, wild man. Yeah, I don't wild, know. Wild, wild. Yeah, I don't know. I'm tired though. But anyways, let me wake up. I'm trying to drink coffee, so I'm not so tired right now. It's been a it's long It's 6 o'clock. I'm tired. I didn't sleep, okay? Excuse Buffalo me. Buffalo people. I'm, I've been in Florida for almost a year now. Let's see. Well, not really. Six months. <laughs> Close enough. Almost <laughs> Close a enough. year? And you say six <laughs> months. <laughs> October will be a year. Um, I forgot I was going to say now. Thanks. I was going to say something. Oh, well. Anyways, what are you guys doing anything else besides um going to Oh no 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 that's not what I was gonna ask you. Um you liked the <laughs> Mario movie, right? <laughs> See, I don't know where what's going on. I don't know what day it is. No, you already said what you're doing, the 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 theme park. That's gonna be fun. That'll be a fun. Oh uh, yeah, hopefully I can get a date and like an exact date, and then I could I know there's some people in California that wanna go. So we can go out there and uh not um... you, <laughs> America's <laughs> Yeah, so we'll know. What's up, Tom? I know there's a lot of people. Oh, yeah, people. Knott's Berry Farm. Are you going to go? I don't know if I'm going to go to this trip. I was thinking about doing, uh, after Hollywood, I might hop over to Disneyland for park hopping, but I don't I don't think so. 
gonna it's gonna be like exhausting like we're gonna be in vegas then we have the meetup and then it's like five hour five and a half hour drive right to la and then it's uh i think that's where it's at in hollywood then wake up because we have we have like uh i think it's gonna be thursday or it might be friday wherever it is gonna wake up at the crack of dawn because we have these early passes and then go to the park and then get back in the car and drive all the way back same day well back to florida back to vegas i think oh, okay so, i was gonna say that'd be the... <laughs> yeah hello outlaw be. oops that's gonna be a long one looking. yeah so you you liked the mario movie right uh yeah i liked it yeah I only saw it once, though. A lot of people saw it a lot. <laughs> I would have I would have went twice, but I can't even get to the movies that much. I saw Creed 3, and then I saw Mario. I saw Creed, like, right before it was out of theaters. And I still got to go see John Wick. I don't even know if that's still in theaters, but I want to go see it. Um, but, yeah, no, I liked it. I thought it was really cute. I don't know. I didn't understand people being weird about it, saying it was, like, woke. I'm like, what? We have enough of that garbage. So, like, seriously? Man, it was just a fun, simple film. Yeah, I thought it was cute. And I liked Chris Pratt. I had this thing before it even aired when everyone was talking crap about his voice because it wasn't the it's a me Mario thing. I'm like, no, listen, I did a whole stream on it and I showed the Super Mario Brothers show a clip from that. And I'm like, this is how he's supposed to sign it. sound. He's an Italian from Brooklyn. The frig. So he actually sounded correct. People have said about it. I, I don't honestly, I just didn't care. Like whatever it was going to sound like, I guess I didn't have uh high expectations i'm pretty sure it was no. gonna be for kids yeah exactly and i thought it was like that's what it was it, it, could, it, was it couldn't cute. have been worse all right so yesterday yesterday i went to uh legoland for park hopping and they they opened up a new ride really what a, is it it's called the pirate lego adventure ride and you get um. into a boat right well that's just made for you <laughs> yeah so we get in this thing and I get in line because I'm like, I'm just there to record and and put it on park on. Then I'm going to leave. I wasn't there. I wasn't going to be there long. So I get in line and uh, I look around. There's no adults anywhere. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is just great. <laughs> and so then there was there was hardly anybody there at the park on Wednesday. So there was there was literally like three people in front of me, a bunch of kids in the back. And thank God, like a mom came up and stood next to me and just started a conversation <laughs> while I was standing there awkward, just wanting to ride the ride. It, it is like the kiddiest of kid rides. We get in this boat and it should be up tomorrow or the next day. We get in this boat. Have you been to Legoland, right? Mm -hmm. And like, if you walk in the back, there's like a garden and they have all these, they have like these canals that are off this lake. So they filled it with like uh giant Lego pirate ships. And so it was really cool. That was, that was neat. But it's just a, it's a kid's ride because they want you to sing songs. <laughs> they want you to, like, count the Legos. They want you to, like, count the monkey Legos, <laughs> count the pirate Legos, count the ghost Lego. And Did you do I'm it? Sit, uh, near the end because you're sitting there and it's like all these kids are just, like, banging on the boat. Like, one, two, three. It's going to be a pretty funny video. But when we got near the end, <laughs> they, they were getting ready to dock. And our driver missed missed the where he was supposed to pull in and he smashes the boat into a wall wow and all these all the kids next to me they all just went flying forward oh my and, god uh, i think it's all in the video i gotta I was say did you I get it started <laughs> laughing like hysterically so oh look i'm on i'm on wicked's body there we go <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you, you look great that I didn't do it like that on purpose. I just like the picture. Look it's a nine line shirt, on. so it fits. You always have a nine. You actually don't have a nine line shirt on. Do you? No, you I have a hat. hat there on you go. Yeah. Have I a like hat on stuff. though. I like the I like their taste. Yeah, and so. the ladies like the ladies like. Obviously, you're not here to enjoy the ride. You're here to record. I was like, yes, I'm here to record, <laughs> and then I'm leaving. <laughs> then I'm leaving. So the ladies <laughs> like, did you get that on? The, the mom that was next to me, she's like, did you get that? Did you record that? This this driver running into the walk? Is she threw a fit and a half, like, thinking her kid was hurt and everything. It was quite oh, the geez. day. I'm going to sue. Was, did you get recording? <laughs> it was God. quite the day. I, I was like, I don't, I didn't get, I was like, I don't think I, I said I try not to record any children. And, like, I didn't get, I don't know if I got any kids falling out of the, falling, 
not out of the boat, but like in front of it. But you could hear it <laughs> on the recording. Man, oh, can't wait to upload that one. Everyone's hitting on you now in the chat. Uh, are you doing Jeez. anything tomorrow night? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be in a van, <laughs> driving to <laughs> Vegas for 36 hours. The question is, will you be watching the new Power Rangers Netflix movie? I actually did, Nick. I watched it. How was it? It was it was a, it was actually pretty good. So I won't do any spoilers. If you guys want, I'll record like a little short video or something uh, with spoilers. Um, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I like when I was a kid, I liked the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And then by the time they went into, um, you know, the other whatever you want to call it, Power Rangers shows i can't even think of their names right now i didn't watch i only watched mighty morphin after kimberly left i was out so <laughs> no mighty morphin um the first season was only two years right the first so the so mighty morphin was three years i think but yeah it was three years and kimberly was on for all of them but then the last two episodes was when cat uh catherine sutherland took over so she was the pink ranger like the whole time except for uh, two episodes at the end which little me was super upset because i didn't understand like you know hollywood stuff I'm like well, where, where the hell did she go um but they fought rita the first two years right and then they fought um the other guy what was his name i can't even remember zed i think lord zed let me a second oh uh, yeah yeah but then in the movie they fought <laughs> ooze right yeah ooze is the best ivan ooze he was freaking funny um yeah I, I can't remember who they what I, I kind of forgot what the turbo movie was. I know that the original people were in it, like Kimberly and Jason actually came back for that and they were like possessed by something, but I can't really remember that one that much. Yeah, Lord Zed. Um remember oh, him see, and Rita got married. Yeah, that's okay. I didn't like the movie was I remember the movie, but I didn't like I the I think, movie with ooze, that one. The pink wasn't the pink ranger like caught in a hole the whole time or was that another movie no that's turbo you're thinking about her and jason oh, okay, okay, the, okay. the original yeah, red yeah. ranger and then they were possessed and they were fighting their friends and right that scene was kind of cool like she's all like she, her eyes were all glowing and she was kicking their butts and like but you're friends kimberly and she's like huh, friends what are friends like it was it was silly but it was funny um hold on speaking of rita i'm don't worry i'm not gonna say any spoilers for anybody that wants to see the show but <laughs> they changed rita i thought it was kind of silly um so the same, it's not the same person. No, the voice is different, but they made, hold on. I'm going to pull up a picture. Give me a second. They made, uh, they made her a robot and I, when the, I forgot about that. And then I started watching it. It was actually this morning that I watched it and I was like, what the hell here? This is her in the movie. <laughs> She's a robot like, in the movie that just came out. The once a ranger, the Netflix movie. She's still around. They didn't <laughs> defeat her yet. Well, I don't want to spoil it. They did defeat her. Something happens where oh, she, comes she comes back. back. Something Power Ranger, -y, yeah, and she comes back. Um, but so what? This movie, this isn't a spoiler because it's in the trailer. Trini, you know how the original Yellow Ranger actually passed away after yeah. she left Power Rangers. Well, they did a tribute to her and Jason David Frank, um, which was really nice. But so in the movie, like she was already passed away when they finished this. Jason David Frank wasn't passed; he didn't die yet. So they they probably would have maybe did something like different in the movie but so anyways the, the original yellow rangers passes away right so they have her die in this rita kills her they she they should have freaking like blew her up i was like they the, no spoilers you already knew she died guys if you watch the trailer so calm down in the chat don't yell at me um so trini dies and then her daughter wants to like avenge her so that part's kind of cool but it's still very like campy power rangers but i like the, the nostalgia for me what's up disbrew yeah she returned uh so yeah it wasn't spectacular like little me would have loved it well except kimberly wasn't in it they they did something with it like they had them in it i don't want to like get into the spoilers for people but they did have them in it but like in their suits like they had the green ranger in it. it's so, like tommy was there but he wasn't tommy so yeah very uh deep it, mm. it wasn't long it was an hour long it wasn't like it's anything. on what streaming service is it on it's on netflix i suggest netflix. watching it, especially if you watch the original mighty morphin just watch this because it, it wasn't terrible i like i like david yost and uh what's his name uh well, there putties Walter. in it yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god someone clipped me i was i did the putty noise and now someone clipped me and put it with like the putties getting blown up <laughs> The putties um, were great, man. That's it's crazy because I met, 
I met the Green Ranger several times, actually. Yeah, me too. He was nice. He was a really, yeah. You just never yeah. know what people are dealing with behind the scenes. Um, sometimes the most, ha and he was a very, like, jokester, silly guy. And sometimes the silliest people actually are dealing with some heavy demons. And he was, unfortunately. It was really sad. Yeah, that was uh, that was rough. Amy Jo Johnson, after Power Rangers, really, uh, was she in another show? Yeah, she was in Felicity. Felicity remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on WB, and she was on uh, some SWAT. I didn't watch this show, but she was on some kind of SWAT show that might have been can Canadian. Um, and she's a director too. She directed a couple of things, and now she's working on the uh, comic, the Power Rangers comic. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that'll be. I think it's going to be interesting. I guess that's why she. It's wasn't wild how you know, like it, it, they. That one thing just completely, uh, it just completely, and that's like her whole life. They, just like Jason Frank, you know, like they never really got into too many other things, but like the Power Rangers just kind of defined who they were. So. Hi, Mecca. Yeah, he, he was the Power Ranger, though. Like, that's why it was so weird that he wasn't in the movie, but he was working on his own movie, the, uh, the, the, Legend of the uh, White Dragon, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, with Bat in the Sun, which I think that's cool. It's they're more independent. That'll I never, think Bat they never get it's come, finished, did it? They did. It's gonna be they. Yeah, they were pretty much done with it. Um, oh. It's actually gonna be. I'm pretty sure in theaters they're releasing it in September. I'm gonna go see it because it was his last movie and he worked on it for years. So, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Oh, thanks. Yeah. Happened with what are you guys talking about? Happened going with crazy. Mark. Oh, Mark. Yeah, Mark Hamill was in a Star Wars film, and his whole oh life was yeah, Star Harrison Wars. Ford is the only one that actually really took off. I mean, Carrie Fisher had a lot of writing credits and everything, but as far as actually starring and stuff, yeah, not really. Mark Hamill just disappeared into voice acting, and he voiced the Joker. But even that wasn't until the '90s. So after Star right. Wars, he didn't do anything for like 20 years. Didn't really, yeah. Uh... But it's it's uh it's crazy though like Hayden Hayden Christensen kind of another one hasn't really he was in a couple films here and there, um, but his Star Wars celebrity I mean he'll never like I think it, it was a hundred and fifty dollars to get a photo with him at MegaCon. He looked and he had, to be there. I got one. Yeah, I know. One. I saw that because <laughs> I, I made a horrible joke. And so <laughs> of course you did. it was like uh, to see like because his manager is the same manager as Gina's like for the con. So, oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, he manages quite a few people, like especially around Star Wars for some strange reason. And and so when he like so what happened was when we went to Megacon, he met me and Krista like uh, when. All right. So when I did this tour last year with with Gina, I brought like Krista and a few others backstage, you know, to meet uh, to meet Gina. And because because Gina had a list of people she wanted to say hi to that they didn't have to like like uh, like wait. Mm -hmm. And so she met she wanted to meet Krista, Gary, Eric, July. Anyway. The manager met the manager because Crystal was in a co in cosplay. Mm -hmm. He followed her on in, he followed a lot of us on Instagram. And then Crystal was posting like I'm at MegaCon and she's like in her cosplay. So he messaged her and was like, "Hey, is like anybody here? Like, let me know. I'm with Hayden." And so then she Crystal texts me. She's like, "Oh man, so and so." I was like, "Oh, Anthony." So I text him. And then he's like, you can come, come up, come up where he's at. They're like, he's got like 4,000 people waiting for him the next two days. I was like 4,000 people at $150 a pop. That's he a doesn't, lot of money. Like, he doesn't go to cons that much, right? Uh, he does quite a few. Like, Does he? Okay. Never he mind that. Quite a few. Um, I think he goes like one year on one year off, but like he was in the Kenobi series. Mm hmm and so that boosted him a little more again. i mean that's a lot of money especially mm -hmm. he's he went to all the cities and then i i heard that the uh you know i i asked him too i was like how's the how's the lines at star wars celebration he goes it's insanity dude he's like he won't even get a break for like two I days bet. taking pictures and autographs but it's yeah. like 
you work for two days for a million dollars and then you can take them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's nuts. I I wanted to come to MegaCon to meet um Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy because I don't oh, yeah, think yeah. he I don't think he really does conventions. Mm -mm. Um, Every now but I'm and like, man. yeah, I but I'm like, I'm not going to do that because the cost to get in, I think it was like one hundred and fifty dollars for that Saturday. And he was only there so on Saturday. I met and his line was going to be nuts. I figured so I'm like, I'm going to pay one hundred fifty dollars to go here and I'm not going to be able to do anything except wait in his line basically to meet him and pay one hundred fifty dollars to meet him. So it'd be like three hundred bucks. I'm like, no. I met him last year. And oh, like in that, passing, sure. like mm -hmm. not a and like uh I forgot that he he's like uh he has an accent. He's British, he has like a yeah, weird yeah. accent though, because he did jacks for so long that it's like mixed. Yeah, so like that's all I could think about was like jacks. <laughs> and then he was just he was really, really nice guy. Just talking mm -hmm. like it didn't register that he sounds like Disparu. So. <laughs> he sounds like Disparu, that's <laughs> <laughs> in real life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, he probably maybe he has his accent back more, but I remember seeing him do interviews like within like the year or so after Sons Anarchy, and he would go back and forth between British and Jacks. Because I mean, how long was Sons Anarchy? Seven years. <laughs> Just Bruce that I yeah. like him already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they were all like when they're there, they're like, so like that was the funniest thing because uh Ron Perl like when they had the whole Sons oh, of Anarchy God. crew there Ron in Perlman. they were in uh I wanna say the Colorado one. They were all there, whatever it was, and I was like, Man, there's Ron Perlman. And like was this was, after the crazy Twitter thing that he did? Yeah, I was like, oh, I don't want I was like, I gotta avoid him because I made some videos about him. <laughs> I know so he, probably, I he probably you, blocked you. He probably blocked you on Twitter. I doubt it. Like I really did. but I also like was kind of rude to him on Twitter because he's freaking nuts. And I'm like, ooh, lately. I just gotta like I didn't I didn't I avoided him like the plague just in case. Just in case. I seriously doubt he watches YouTube, but I don't want to cause no no uh no trouble. Drunk, how many walls have you destroyed at cons? Just the two. <laughs> I could see, I could see that. Yeah, those Just things are kind of flimsy, though. So I mean, <laughs> that was like that was so embarrassing when I did that. Oh man, you just stand <laughs> there and like there's nothing you could do, and you just see him slowly fall over, you know, and like the celebrities were laughing at me. I was like, well, I'm fucking hellboy, yeah, dude's nuts. The crazy ones are the ones you gotta look out for. Um. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, there's right. a few people there that I, you know, you make videos on and it's like, yeah, you we do, were making you make videos <laughs> about Gina. I didn't know she was watching until she messaged me. So it's like, you never know. You never she know probably what's... clicked. Well, because I'm sure there was a lot of obviously I know there was a lot of negative videos and you were one of the few people doing a positive video. So she probably needed that. <laughs> Your videos yeah, were always so possible. nice about her. At least you didn't spill anything on the slip. That's debatable. He might not have told us. How do you know that Disparu? He probably did spill on somebody. Um, He's got to think about it. <laughs> oh no, Jay does spill a lot, actually. You know, it's just, it's his thing. Um, did I spill? <laughs> I'm like trying to think if I like. I really... spilled on poor Gina. Nah. <laughs> uh, I did. We did spill a lot of drinks in her autograph signing, but I, I some of that wasn't all my fault because they would ask for drinks you know and i'm like all right i'm let me run back and get and then set it down and then everybody's there's like a lot of people just walking around in the back and they would kick it over so then i'd have to be like ah, i gotta run back get another drink and then clean up that mess and while wow, there's like all these people in line so it's all good i think i did yeah. kick one over once <laughs> I think I did. It gets I crazy. I, I can only imagine how it was for you because, like, I haven't been like, not that you were like her handler, but something like that. You were doing stuff for her. Like, you weren't, you know, I've worked conventions before and it gets pretty crazy. Um, even at little ones. So you, you went to all the big ones with her. So, uh, a couple when it got busy. Yeah. Yeah. When it got busy. That's like, <laughs> when it wasn't busy, like... it was, it was, it was, it was nice and chill. So, yeah, I love that one because I've only done it two years at the old my old 
con I used to go to in Buffalo. And I used to love the beginning and the end because nobody was in there. And we just kind of walk around, look at everyone set up. And that was a good time. But then once it got packed, it was a little, a little crazy. It had its moments. It had it. it there were some good moments. There were some weird moments. Why would he spill? On, <laughs> too spiggle. Why would he spill? <laughs> <laughs> no, he just had a bunch of candy. That story. No, when I met uh, Rob Schneider, he he had <laughs> that man can drink. Man, he was drinking. Really, he was drinking. Yeah, I love Rob but he, Schneider. But kept, I do too. But he kept it cool, man. He kept it. He seems um, really chill. He doesn't seem like he's too far either way. Like he's he seems pretty. Uh, he just watched me. <laughs> I'm so glad there was no video recording of that because I know it looked awful. Because <laughs> I've got, I'm holding, I'm in a, I'm in a suit and I got popcorn. There's candy in my front pockets, my <laughs> side pockets, and in my hand, and I'm, and I'm like literally like holding these two buckets of popcorn like this. Aww. And then they have this little tiny uh, table that's just big enough for like a glass to slide through. You know. And they're I can't like, believe they got, made you get all the food. Like they, gotta, help you they were in the bathroom. Like they all like left. They're like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go get a drink. I gotta go get this. So I was like, all right, I'll stand here. But I felt like that little kid, you know, when mom says, Hey, wait in line at the grocery store. I'm just gonna go grab something else. Don't worry. <laughs> and you start getting a little closer, you know, and like, where's mom at? And like they start like ringing <laughs> up your stuff, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Aww. that's all that happened they're like you can't you have to empty out your pockets i was like it's filled with candy like you have to empty it out they're like oh my gosh boom 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 rob Snyder just watching he's just, just watching me like wow is that all for you i was like it's not it's like i say i say the same thing big guy i'm like ah oh, big guy there it is well is it rob schneider's kind of small isn't he i mean short isn't he or no big, I mean, guy's, I another, big guy's another word for fat guy so oh well <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's sh he's short. He's short. Trey. Okay. All right. No, but he so... was cool. He was cool after the premiere. Like he just Didn't... like he dresses like he dresses like the life of the party. He had on like a little hat. Didn't he have a Hawaiian shirt on? And uh no, nah, he was kind of dressed up a little bit, but oh, okay. it was all like you. button open and like he just had it always had a drink in his hand walking around, just like just walking around to anyone that would bump into him. Oh, that's How you cool. doing? I would love to meet Rob Schneider. I wish he went to conventions. I, the Hot Chick is my favorite movie he's ever done. I know that's like old and it's kind of outdated now, but he did so good pretending to be a female. So like the voices that he did in that. I oh, was God. there and I was like, I got to ask him about. I, I just got to have him do it. You can do it. Right. <laughs> and Ryan is like, dude, Jay, don't like, don't, I don't. <laughs> he, had, he had a few drinks on him he wouldn't care i bet you he would do it i was like don't 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 he be too big don't don't feel like you can't do it like <laughs> that's how that's just what i do man it's like oh uh, i didn't do it yeah him and Adam, just, they're like actually best like, friends we had like jeremy was like act like you're meant to be here and i'm like well i am <laughs> meant to be here he goes no, no 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 act like you're meant to be here no, JD wasn't allowed to have any fun. He was like, it's like they were the parents. They're like, sit down and don't say nothing. Ah, yeah, it was all right. It's the only right. problem was like the theater we were in was uh was really hot. Like it was no AC. So everyone's like taking off their jackets and unbuttoning their shirt because it was like really warm in there. I don't know. The AC probably wasn't running. Oh, sometimes places do that if the AC is like loud. Yeah, I don't know. That's that sucks. But they were all they were they were all really cool. All right, before I we jump into any pop culture talk, we're gonna talk about your book. Yeah, I got my selfie with Rob, so I'm good. Yeah, wow, yeah, that was book. a good selfie. The book, the reason we're here. I got a shirt, guys. It's in his uh, link tree if you want to buy some merch for the, you know, the blue book. I got a pin too. Yeah, nice I wasn't going to do merch. And then it was uh, this guy, CJ. He was like, I want to I want to get a shirt. And I was like, I wasn't planning on doing merch for the book. And they were like, no, 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 you got to do it. You got to yeah. do it. And I'm like, uh, what kind of merch do you guys want? And then people were like, I want a cup. I want a shirt. 
I want. So I was like, okay, I'll do it all. So I just was like, instead of doing like a lot of people on, on Indiegogo, they, they make their own. So it's like, you go on Indiegogo to buy it. Oh, you know, it's like a perk. Like that's what a lot of these people do. And I'm like, man, I don't think I can do that. So I just threw it all on the T public. That's a better store. idea because you know the quality from T public and all that. I love T public's tank tops. I haven't bought a tank top from there in so long. So I was happy to get this. I love it. Um, no coasters or mouse pads. I don't think. Uh, do they have that on T public? I didn't see it. No coasters or mouse um, pads. They don't. I don't think T public offers that. Coasters? No. There's mugs and stuff there. Yeah. Yeah, it's I got like I got the pin in the shirt, and didn't you get? Yeah, uh, magnets, I ordered a little said? bit of everything. There's stickers you could get. There's I got magnets. So there's magnets there. I just ordered a little bit of everything, just to oh, see magnets. what it would look like. I'm pin. surprised they don't have that stuff, though, Americas. To be honest, uh, and like notebooks. So I love the notebooks at T Public. I get the hard, I like the hardcover one. I do too because they're just a little bit smaller. So mm -hmm. you know, am I selling blue balls? Yeah, it's like Indiegogo. No, no, I, 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 I have one. Hold on, it fell. Give me a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna disappear for a second, Jay. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, I'm, I'm honestly, I okay. should, I should have thought of that before. I, I, if I, if I do the second book, then I'll definitely, yeah, she has one in her hand. I'll I definitely, have one. uh, the stress ball. You, if you guys want one, get it on Amazon. It's actually I'll, really nice. I'll definitely have them made for both colors. Okay, so, never mind. I, I didn't even think about that stuff. I was just like, who knows? But uh Yeah, you should. This uh I I got a pack time, of the different next colors. Time. But, I'll, I'll be yeah. like next round it's gonna be You're gonna be ready I'll for have it. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll uh, see how it yay, goes. Roto. I'm not even gonna start the next book till after these are out and just wanna see people's reaction. Bart Simpson says eat my shorts. <laughs> That's hilarious. What a great account. Hello, Bart. <laughs> but yeah, I, so I was really happy. I, you know, cause I live in Florida. So Jay, let me get a copy. And I was really happy. I read it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to read it like halfway through and the next day I'll read the rest. But I really, I'm not even joking. I really got into it. It's a very good story. It's not just for kids either. I mean, yeah, it's a children's book, but I'm, an adult and oh, i enjoyed it you. so it's a really nice adventure and um yeah more kids need this book for sure because it's not there's nothing preachy about it it's just adventurous dream inspiring all that good stuff and yeah so if you don't if you don't if you're not interested in reading it for yourself there he has an option in there where you could donate it which i did that too i i haven't i have one of the um well the the other covers what is it called the like the uh I got another copy coming of a different cover. Like you have the uh, special covers. I forgot what that option's called. My bad. I should have looked before. I don't have any special covers yet. Not yet, but there you had an option. Hold on, let me pull it up. Jeez. You have a, an option for the. Uh... Hold on. I there's might as no well share. Let there's me... no variant covers yet. No. Then what did I get? Hold on. Let me present it. I'll show you guys what I got. But anyways, I did the option where you can also donate. So it's buy one, give one. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna don't well right. no, but I did I did I did two. Okay, I did two things. I did that one, this one right here, yeah. the buy one, give one. And since I already have one right here, I'm gonna uh I think I did two of these actually. I don't remember. I don't remember now. I got really excited when your book dropped. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna give one away probably since I already have one. Like if anyone couldn't buy one, and but then the one that donates, whatever. I got this the limited edition bundle, this, oh. whatever this is. Yeah, oh that yeah, seems... that's why I got two books coming. So I'm gonna keep one, but I'm gonna like I'll have two because I'll I'll just have yeah, two. Yeah, that comes know? with the a, a limited edition print. That's what it was. And yeah. a bookmark that, that I wanted that gonna, bookmark. I'm not gonna sell any after that. Like that was an Anna thing. Anna put that together for me. She's like, you gotta do this. Did she make the bookmark or she you just it's from the book? Like she made it. Oh no, yeah, Anna's really talented. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I got, that's why I have two coming. So I'm going to keep one. So I have an extra copy, but I'm going to, I don't know if somebody wasn't able to get one, I'll, I'll donate one myself or, or let, give it to Jay so he could donate it. Um, but yeah, here's this. If, but like I said, even if you're an adult, you'll like it. It's a really great story. There's pirates in it. Like you're not, there's a lot going on in this book. It's really good. Um, Len says, don't be lazy. You need to be ahead of the game. Don't wait. Wait, ahead of what game? You mean for the second book or what? 
because right now I'm still in like promotion phase. So like I was telling I was telling Wicked Virtue before I was like I I, I had done two <laughs> two interviews before this one, and then as soon as I'm done with this one, I'm heading to the I'm heading to my final interview. It's it's uh it's taking its toll on me as you could tell. My it might be. I'm ready just to kind of like sleep for a day. I um okay. He's on so an international book tour. <laughs> so I'll tell you. So the second book, right? So so I'll tell Amanda. Um, I wrote the entire thing. So me and this other guy, we put together the entire book. I had wrote just to to go back. I had wrote this as a giant novel, and each chapter was a different color. <clears throat> was a different color. So it was like chapter one was blue. Chapter two, you'll know the color when you read this book, uh, so on and so on and so on. So that was all going to be in one giant novel, like all. And I was just going to do it all together. And I think I was going to be like, uh, I had original plans to uh, Anna, that Star Wars girl was going to do like uh, seven or eight just drawings of each chapter and put it in the book. Right. And so it's like when you get to chapter two, you'll see like a little drawing like that was the, that was the original idea. And then I sent this out to a creative, a creative writer, editor. And when he got it back to me, he was like, you know, it'd be really neat. He goes, these are just some suggestions. Take each chapter and make it into its own individual book. And he goes, uh, and then some, uh, I sent it out to, I, I probably overdid this because I've never done this before, but I sent it out to a ton of test readers. I sent it out to uh, two people that I know in college that are college professor English major. So like they, so after the editor was done with it and I got the edited version back, I sent it out to them to check and all this. Anyway, they all just said it was, uh, they said that this would make a cool graphic novel. So then I was like, all right, that's an idea. So I, I contemplated that for like a month. Should I just do what I was going to do and release the whole thing on Amazon and just promote it? Or should I go this other route? And then that's when I spoke to Eric July and Tug, the umbrella guy, and several others that do that for a living, you know, like how that worked. And um, they were like, I think, I think that's a good idea. And like, if you go that route, you got to do that. Anyway, it was a big process. And then to change the novel over to a graphic novel was that was over a year to do. Oh yeah, I bet it's gonna change your original plan. But I think that's a great idea because I used to I don't have any more. I wish I did so I can compare and show you guys, but I used to get um Buffy graphic novels. Um, oh man, America's is and yeah, I know I said it wrong. College professor, English, I know. He English always majors, listen, he, he know, always trolls me, Mr. Americus. Anyway, I know this because this is actually really uh what's up, Robert? It's really cheap for like he could have charged more for this because I, I i know i want to say maybe a little not completely half the size but the ones i used to get were about i used to get it at cost because i knew the comic book shop guy but he would charge like 25 to 30 for regular people for one that's like smaller 80 than this. yeah so they're like 80 and pages yeah so i it's worth it and i the artwork in this is is really it's really beautiful i i i genuinely loved this yeah book, this is over so. 200 pages so it's a big one it's a big one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I was I was only going to read half of it. I actually stayed up like late. It took me like I want to say I don't think it took me quite 2 hours, but I I planned on doing this in 2 days, but I was just so into it I I couldn't put it down. And that means it's a good book, guys, and you can't put it down. So the um, art the artist is from Hawaii. Her name is Lily Chan and her assistant. And I went to a couple places asking for artists to see their work, and I think I got like uh uh, like 35 roughly submissions from artists and it was her style is what I really liked. I figured that really, I, I, I felt like that style just really caught what I was trying to, what I saw in my mind. I know a lot of, there are people that they're like, Oh, it's not whatever people could judge art the way they want to judge. And that's all good. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I, that's just what I wanted. Now going into book two, if we get there, if we get there, I, I'm probably going to find, um, I'm probably gonna find another artist, maybe someone, someone in our little community, you know. And I'll just be like, how do we, how do we finish this whole series if I keep the same artist all the way through? 
Um, Lily was great and she was awesome to work with. And uh, but I think she took a. Uh, I think she took a job at uh, at some or she might not be able to do the second book. So, ah, but yeah, she was she was great. Like she was really she was really awesome to work with all the way from. Hawaii. I like her style. Yeah, I like her art style. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be, you know, um, so if I look for another artist, it'll be we'll figure out who we should where we should go with. So. But I want to keep it if they can kind of keep it kind of similar to what that art style is so yeah I'm yeah ryan I like someone. a lot of people are like you should talk to this person I was there's like, a lot once, of people there's once a lot i of get artists. to that point i'll probably just tweet it out and let people email me and i'll talk to them like that so yeah, i'm not even draw. there yet let them draw just, for you and you can pick whatever style you like yeah more. i, I want to get to i want to get to the place where people have the, the ones that ordered this book that they get it in their hands and uh, well uh, he she's done i'm sure she'll be doing something for him i mean jay's really tight with she her. did all the thumbnails for the yeah Indigo, she's though. she's amazing i spent a lot of time looking at her art page now that i found it on uh, instagram just like it's so uh, she's really good um yeah so like the the next step is once we close the campaign down in like 10 days oh, uh, once i get back from vegas we'll uh it's off to the printers and and I'm going to get them out as fast as possible so people can have them. I said July on the Indiegogo. I believe you'll get it. At least the bulk people will get it in June, maybe near oh, wow. the end of May. Nice. Yeah, because yeah. like once I shut it down, it's like the printers are ready and I'm like, here we go. Like uh, I need X amount of copies and they'll start printing however long they take. <laughs> Uh, no matter how long they take, it's uh, and then I start shipping them out to people. So, and then the cool thing is, I think in October, I'm gonna after we get everything shipped out, and we'll see what people are saying, and you know that'll determine whether I go to book number two. There's um, no weather. You're gonna go to it. You got to do it. You got to finish it. Listen, it ended well, on a cliffhanger. I, mean, the, I need the, to know what happens. Okay. <laughs> the truth is, like. I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of work, uh, people, but it's people. I, it might not. People might not enjoy it. And that's OK. That's OK. You know, some people might. Some people might not. So it's uh, we'll see what happens. Like if the reviews are really good and things are out there, then it's like, all right, let's get to work on the second one. The second one won't take three years. Well, because uh, you wrote it all out, right? You have this whole big. I have the outline for the of... novel, so it'll mm -hmm. be like how to adapt the novel part into the graphic novel. Because like, there's some, you know, you don't have the uh, ton of detail like in a novel, like you would uh, in the graphic novel. So it's like, yeah, so it's just like outlining the second one. It it probably won't be 200 pages either. So we'll probably do but it. It's gonna be smaller. Well, yeah, the first book is like the world building and introducing of all the characters and, and everything like kind of what's going on. It's like setting the stage of like what's happening, because then once you get into the second one, you'll be like, I understand like how this works, you know, mm -hmm. like like how this world works and how this other world works. And I, I don't want to give away too much, but yeah, um, I'm, so, I'm being quiet. I don't want to give yeah, away. yeah. So it's like it'll be, you know, and I and the other thing is, too, is that I got tons of emails from people which i i so appreciate that were like hey jay i i man i support you and stuff but i think i'm gonna wait and see like after you get the book delivered before i get one are you ever gonna re-release it and i totally understand why people are like that is because uh i spoke to some that had there was like horror stories of people that put a book together and people donated it and they raised a lot of money and then they just disappeared mm. or the quality of the book that they got was just garbage, you know, and it was just like, it's not, it wasn't worth the price they were selling and like all that stuff, you know, it just put a lot of like fear in people's minds. And it's, and I totally get that. That's I understandable. Also, I yeah. also get that. I'm not a comic book person. I'm not like, you know, this is something that I haven't done. This is my first time doing something like this. And I want to make sure that people get quality. They get, the mm -hmm. story that they that everything is good that's that's one of the reasons why i had the printers like you have one printed out 
already. Oh, yeah, you know, I would like, say this is good one. quality. So, and it is like <laughs> so. I'm uh, tapping yeah, it to let you guys know. Listen, the other it's thing here. <laughs> made me a little concerned was that because you know every printer shop that I talked to, they're like, because it's 200 pages, you know the. It's not going to be, I don't know if it's going to be as sturdy. So far, mine's holding up without any, this is the one that I show everyone that uh, hasn't given me any problems and no pages have fallen out. So No, like I, this feels, like I said, this feels exactly the same. I used to get the Buffy ones and uh, that's the only actual graphic novel that I can say. I've had gotten comics before, but actual graphic novels and this feels exactly the same. I wish I still had them so I could put them side by side and show people, but just take my word for it as somebody who has had graphic novels before this feels exactly the same as ones that you spent $30 for in the store store for less pages. Yeah. So um, maybe after the book is released and people got it and a lot of, and a lot of people enjoy it. Um, I might re-release it again for like a month. Yeah, That's not right? a bad idea. You, you missed it. Like here you, you can pick it up real quick and then. And we'll then also thing. if people got it and they liked it and they want to gift it to other people, you know, and yeah, I agree with you, Roto. Like I said, as someone who actually read it too, I can totally vouch for that. Once this book is released, so many people will want this book in the entire series. The world needs more books like this. Exactly. There's, if you just go to Target and look at the kids section, even just like the, the titles of some of the books, I'm like, what is this? What even is this? Like, not even that it's silly. It's like, they're trying to preach stupid things to kids. And that's what I love about this book is that it's just a fun book for kids. Um, hold on. Someone else said something that I want to highlight. <laughs> oh, here we go. The art style gives me adventures of Tintin vibes. Cool setup. Yeah, it's a good art style. I love it. Um, Mark of Reality says I ordered your book with with a donation. I do know that you're an honorable person. I hope to get it soon after the release date. It'll be one of the few books my brother will allow my nephew to read. Wow. Yeah, uh, see, I'm so I'm that. saying. And that's another thing. Like, I understand, like you said, people are, are afraid of, um, you know, scammers. But people that know you know that you're not. So that's why you've gotten so much support. Uh, the donations. Thank you for the kind words. The donation ones, I, I think we're going to wait till October. Because then I'll spend... Let's see. We'll get the books out. Hopefully, the last one will be shipped before July. Then August and September, I'll plan out where we're going to give all the donated ones. And we'll get those out in October. Imagine so I... then if we get to work on the second one, I'll start January 1st of the next year. What's up, D? I, th I think October is actually perfect because, well, I know it's different for everywhere. Like, I don't know when does school start in Florida? Like August. I know for like, uh, over, yeah. right. it's Late like back August. in New York, it's like uh September. So I think October is a good time because the kids are all back in school. That's actually really smart. I don't know if that's what you were thinking. Uh, that's when you exactly did. what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And it'll give me time. Teacher, to kinda, so. It'll give me time to kind of, <sighs> Yeah, Rest take a little, a little bit, bit of a breather. Yeah, you've been doing a lot. That's why um, Jay is a busy little bee. He's on the grind, but this book deserves to be seen. So I'm, I'm really excited. I was so excited when you dropped it. So I'm saying like I didn't even remember what it was that I bought. I know I got a couple coming though. Um, but yeah, I'll probably I'll either give one of the copies to you to add to the donation one that you're given, or I'll find someone that needed one or a kid. So I'll find something for the extra one. Cause I have, I'm, I don't need three copies of this one. Um, so because there was the, you know, the I think, I buy think one, I'm, get one or buy one, I, donate one. I think I'm more excited about um, the different people that have been reaching out wanting. Uh, we have a teacher in New York. I kind of posted that review on my Twitter, like last a uh, few weeks ago, who wants some for not only her classroom, but other elementary yeah, classroom. See? Couple schools in California, of all places, North Cal California. And yeah, because they're tired of the, I can only imagine what they're getting over there. The yeah, book. and then this company, I, I forgive me, I don't have the name, but when I ship the books out, I'll make sure everybody knows the name of this this group that takes they want good comic books and good uh graphic novels to take to kids that have terminal ill you oh. know that are not going to leave the hospital yeah and that's so. another thing because kids especially these days i mean i know kids have always liked comic books 
but I feel like especially certain age groups are more they're going to pick up something like this versus some hardcover boring looking book like this looks fun it's colorful and it's a good story too but I mean kids just seem to gravitate more towards the comic book style so that's really it was really good idea to switch to graphic novel over a whole book yeah it's like and like to to get it to kids that are that are <clears throat> that are dying you know and like uh thank you guys struggling with like whatever their leukemia and or other other uh, that i hope you know you can only hope for you hope for the best that that they'll be able to beat that horrible thing and um find some find some way to encourage others that are struggling in that and and encourage them to to not give up as well yeah so like like that's that's it's really cool to know that there's there's people out there that want to get positive stuff in their hands um you know like while they're while they're struggling you know while they're while yeah. they're dealing with whatever they're going through so that that to me is really that to me is really it's really awesome to hear so at least as far as that aspect but you know at the end of the day at the end of the day we always want the kids to win and the disease to lose so you know yeah yeah wow. that's crazy that might be more donated copies bought than regular copies so <laughs> we'll see which is fine with me it's fine with me so yeah it's getting it out there i think it's great that you're going to release it again because there's going to be people that got this that really enjoyed it and they want to give a copy to someone else you know like uh yeah for sure i know We'll I mean, I got happens. to I got to read it before it was up for order, so I already you know I have two two extra copies coming. Uh yeah, Epic Verse Studios got an early copy. Jane Theory got an early copy. Like those are some of the people that I trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody in the business that does that helps with some of these studios animation, they got a copy that I know. Oh, I would and... love to see this animated. I would well, I just. I, I don't know I if you're going to do it. I'm just saying I would like I to see that, that if it gets ahead. to that point. I just wanted yeah. to get their opinion. Yeah. You know, as like, and so it's all been pretty positive. It's all been, been pretty positive. So pretty cool. Yeah. Do it, Mo. It's really good. It's, it's, I, I know it's um, everyone, Mo. especially when I first dropped, I talked about it all the time on my streams. People were like, yeah, we know. The <laughs> Wicked says, buy Jay's book. We know. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? Buy it. Um, but it's it's good. I, I enjoyed it very much. What? Blue-eyed oh. Scorpio's here. I, I Blue-eyed Scorpio used to be a friend of mine until he started wearing that Ryan hat on his avatar. And now... Broke Jay's heart. How yeah, could he you, Blue-eyed Scorpio? He did. It's very sad. Thanks. Yeah, I, I drank fight milk. And I'm alive to tell the tale. So was Jay. I didn't I didn't beat him though. Everyone else did. Oh, Ryan blackmailed him. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Soul Assassin, it would. You're not wrong. Uh an anime. Well we'll see. Probably we'll see I mean I there. I think an anime would be cool, but uh, if you did it, it probably would be like regular animation, not really anime style. But I don't know. I can't say. Um Fight Milk, America says Milk, raw eggs, and liquor. And we both did it. We're champs over here. <laughs> I had four eggs in mine. Oh, he man, had four. Was... I only had two. I'm so happy I only had two. We and should then, watch like, it. I'm not pulling it up, Lulu. I, I, I dribbled. Think, I think <laughs> we. I think he had me crack it. Oh, no, he didn't. He, I, I cracked it in the kitchen, and I had a clear glass. That's what it was. Yeah, well, I cracked it here, but I had a clear glass, too. Um, But, yeah. Uh, oh, thank that sounds you. absolutely disgusting. Why would you do that? Because we're Americans. Yeah, that's what Americans do. Was, that your, first the time, well. was that your first time streaming with Cecil? Well, no. I mean, it was the first time I went on uh, Camel Cast. Anna and Cecil were there, but Camel Cecil was cast. driving Camel Cast. <laughs> and Anna and Cecil were there. Um, okay. But he was he was driving. He So he was he was like there, but he wasn't. This was the first time where he was actually like on the camera talking and he comes in. He's like, I'm drunk. I had whiskey. This brew messaged me this morning. He was like, I wake up and see that you were on a stream with Cecil, the, the most two different streamers. I, like he was like, I did not expect that. You're so very different. Um, but no, it was fun. It was 
why well, i mean you've been on you've been on cody's show so you know it's kind of wild over there um <laughs> camel cast, <laughs> camel cast. Yeah. well that's what it's called <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cody, yeah, like fun. I met, I got to meet, I got to meet him in person. He's wild, man. He's like a, he's like a living Tinder account. I don't know how else to put it. No, that's that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty accurate. <laughs> he's like a Tinder account that that morph. If a if Tinder uh, became a real person, it would be it would become Camelot. Oh, some of the stuff he said, like the one he was talks about how he's like, just have his house dark and have like a hundred freaking girls, <laughs> not at a time, but that he's had that many girls that just come over there. And he's like, I could have murdered them. He's like, I would have gotten caught. And like the things that he says, like, what the frig? Um, <laughs> Jay did do fight milk. I did. He did four eggs. I only, I got lucky. I would have done the four. I would have been a trooper, but I only had two. So, cause I wasn't, after, it was kind of a last minute thing. So I wasn't ready. After I drank that, I went and had like a big glass of water to get that thing. Just to what make sure. <laughs> man, you just got to meet Cody in real life, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah. He comes I mean... up, he's like, Jay he came up to me, gave me this big hug, breath smelled like scotch and uh, kissed me right on the cheek, man. I thought you were going to stay on the lips because I would not be surprised if you said that. He, could, um, he, he couldn't he reach. Couldn't he, he couldn't kind of, reach. He couldn't reach. But he pulled me down and he's like, I was like, dang, Cody. He's like, I'm from Alabama. That's what we do. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, someone said something about you on a stream yesterday. They were like, poor drunk 3PO. And he got defensive. He was like, what happened to my boy? He got like, really? He's like, who did something to him? And I'm yeah. like, oh, he probably got Every... picked on on Tuesday night's main event or something. That, that's what my guess was. That's a whole nother. What's up, Chewy? Nah, he's been really good. So. <laughs> okay. You know, this Peru, he mistook you for his cousin. <laughs> oh no, he mistook you. <laughs> <laughs> if he's from Alabama, that's absolutely true. <laughs> oh no, that's from uh, that's absolutely true. That's why I liked it when him and him and Jeremy stream together because they're both from Alabama. And I Jeremy, feel like Jeremy, Jeremy doesn't have as thick of an accent though. I can understand Jeremy a little more. Listen, listen, <laughs> Jeremy moves to florida which is another part of uh alabama where he the part of florida that he lives in literally you're like right on the border and when they were when when we all met in texas for anime matsuri the first time he met jeremy they started talking about alabama and jeremy's accent started click 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 like it just leveled up <laughs> 15 minutes in i'm like I, i'm like looking like like Ryan's like, I've never heard Jeremy talk that twangy before, man. Like it was, it just he brought just, it out in him. Yeah, man. <laughs> they, it was kind of funny. I was like, wow, look at that. Hi, Lady Marine. Yeah, look, uh, the malware said it too. Yeah, I, that's true. He said that uh, Jeremy's accent started getting thicker in that episode. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's like, oh happens. man, it's 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 uh. <laughs> It's like me when I when I when I get around a bunch of Haitians because I speak Creole like my I start you start getting that trying to speak that other language, you know, it just you get into that accent mode. It's kind of funny. I sound funny. Can't take the Alabama out of the boy. No, no. <laughs> it comes back. Yeah. Especially when I start talking about NASCAR and all that stuff. I'm almost like, oh, boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Speaking of anime Matsuri, I actually might go to that this year because I want to go to Texas. I don't know though. I got to see, but I, I might, I, to me, it's kind of funny. I mean, I know a lot of people like anime, but that that's like the YouTuber meetup kind of like where all the YouTubers go. It's the anime convention versus like, I don't know, Megacon or New York city comic con. Like you would think it'd be one of those, but no, it's the anime one. I'm not a hundred percent positive on it, but I might, it, it would be kind of cool. I, uh, I'm probably not going back to Buffalo this year, um, so I, I'm not going to be going to any cons. I miss MegaCon. There's one in Tampa, but I don't know if I actually want to go to the Tampa one. If I was going to go to a Florida one, I should have went to MegaCon. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anime Matsuri was... It seems like it's fun. It was different. But like I, I said, also, I I've never been to Texas, so that's a big thing to go somewhere I've never been. I never... 
I never got into anime much, but they brought in the motorcycles, the cars. There were the costumes were like top level, man. Like you go to MegaCon and you see people cosplay. It's like no offense, all right, no offense. But sometimes you could tell people didn't even try. Oh, there's no no offense. Go ahead, say like, some they, people like, are just not good at it. You're talking like to someone who does like, cosplays. I put my heart and soul into that. They try to paint <laughs> their face, and you know they just throw a wig on and like some animal balloons on the wrist. And you're like, what are, you, what are you doing, man? What are you do? like? Why did you walk out of the house like that, man? You didn't even try. <laughs> then you like see the person next to him, and it's like, yeah, they spent all year making that thing, right? And it's like that is freaking awesome. So at MegaCon, you get a good mixture of, man, come on, right? And anime Masuri was like nothing. I have the 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 cosplay there was like unbelievable i thought it was like movie sets it, it, it was it was like movie sets it was it was unreal yeah because uh, never... oh thank you ryan um because people take that seriously when they're really in anime like i like there's animes that i like but i wouldn't by any means say that i'm an expert on it there's a few that i really enjoy like my favorite is cowboy bebop i feel like everyone has seen that one because it's from the 90s and it's just a amazing noir anime and i've just recently finished it even though it's from the 90s and i'm like obsessed with it now um but yeah people they do get lazy there's people online that just do now there's nothing wrong with doing a little photoshop but there's people who will literally like photoshop an outfit onto them and it's like i think of like how long it took me an example the longest cosplay it took me to put together and i've never even shared this one publicly really was my squad harley i made the bat and everything the bat made took me like two hours to sand it down and do all of her writing on it and all that and like to get all the pieces together for her outfit so it's a uh, yeah, it takes a while to put together real cosplays. That's why they get offended when people just like, like you said, they put on a little face makeup and a wig, and they're like, "I'm this character." It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Calm down. Um, did you see that? I there was a clip going around. <laughs> hmm. Do you have it? <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Um, Here, I posted me... it on my Instagram, but the story like went away. About uh... at least the wicked cut of what. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> it was a news reporter at the uh, MegaCon in Texas, right? And she's just like, she's like, look at all the cool costumes here. And she goes to a guy dressed as Raiden. Oh, yeah, Mortal I Kombat. saw that on your story. I did. <laughs> and she goes, look at that. We even got Kung Fu Panda. Because <laughs> he was dubby. Man, oh. I was dying. Man, I was dying. That was the funniest thing. Uh, that was the funniest thing I've ever like. I couldn't stop laughing. I don't even know how to look it up. Yeah, no, I did. I did see that <laughs> your story. That was funny. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like some people. Oh, here it is. I found it. You got it. You wanna... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Screen. I want to share it. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Oh, let me make sure the volume's up. All right, you guys get ready for this. This is uh this is good stuff right here. It's real quick. Someone wrote she did him dirty. <laughs> this is CBS News uh covering a convention. Comic Con, can you stand at the feet of a 20 foot tall transformer named Optimus Prime? Or see a grown man dressed as Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Jeez. That's so messed up. That's messed up. Oh my. Could you imagine? Dad, you're on the news. Oh, really? Let's play it one more time. But Comic Con, can you stand at the feet of a 20 foot tall transformer named Optimus Prime? Or see a grown man dressed as Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Dude, that's that's my biggest fear right there. <laughs> what that someone's gonna say you're Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's messed up because of his hat is <laughs> That's it's all that he's makes... chubby too. It's well, like yeah, he's... but the hat too, because uh, 
Oh, she probably got was, roasted for that. I looked at him. I was like, that's Raiden for sure. But it's like Kung Fu Panda. I was like, oh, man, that's fatality. <laughs> you could always tell, though, like you could always tell, like. People that don't know. Like, con- like, like uh, they don't know nerd culture, right? Like they don't know it. And all of a sudden they like they show up at uh, they show up like trying to cover it and stuff at like at megacon and it's just they have no idea i know it's like do a little research before well i mean i guess you yeah. can't do research because you don't know who's gonna but uh, get somebody on that knows what they're talking about it's like not that hard. who are you supposed to be i like turtles <laughs> i like turtles bruce and- says fat <laughs> that's hilarious that's pretty oh, good no. that's a good one that is a good one. Like I had, so the the convention that I used to work at in Buffalo, the guy that originally started it was like a big nerd. He was into comics, all of that, because they actually were really heavily, heavily had actual comic book writers coming in. Like they had a lot of celebrity guests. Like we've had the cast of Sopranos was there. Like they had some pretty big people there, William Shatner. Like it wasn't that small, but they used to focus really heavily on actual comic writers. So this guy was a big nerd. And then I don't know what happened with him, but he ended up leaving. And then actually I brought this one guy in and he comes in and he was like making fun of cosplayers kind of like to us. And I'm like, why cosplay? And he's like, Oh, Oh, like he got really embarrassed. Cause he said that I'm like, why are you working at, why are you running a convention? If you think cosplaying is silly because like you're about to have the whole floor full of cosplayers. It was weird. He didn't know what he was talking about either. Like he'd be like, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. So I know what you're talking about. And that's somebody that was running the convention. I'm like, what are, what are you doing? You couldn't find someone better. I think it was a last minute thing. I don't know what happened with the guy. I think like some something that's happened. unbelievable, like, man. Say, like, but again, like that just shows like people that don't <laughs> like they don't know anything about. I don't even know what you call this, like nerd culture, pop culture, whatever. You can't send someone that doesn't know anything about like comics or stuff like that into a convention and expect them to get anybody right. I she probably didn't even know that was. I'm surprised she didn't even call the. Uh, transformer like a giant robot you it's can stand, bumblebee you can stand <laughs> at a giant name. robot yeah something like that <laughs> oh okay blue eyed scorpio yeah you don't like attention she's, she's like a grown man dressed like kung fu and <laughs> it does that is kind of funny though poor guy though but you're right <laughs> kids kids are so much probably like hey you're on tv oh he was walking around gym. all dopey too like of all you things hit record. the gym <laughs> I know he, there was probably was just some like really there, like, good ones and they didn't record it. Yeah, exactly. They were just trying to go quickly. Yeah, that's the problem. My favorite cosplay at MegaCon was a guy dressed as Jesus Christ, and that was oh. so funny because when I came into the MegaCon, I was on the lower level, and to get to Hayden Christensen, he was on the second floor because he had so many people. So I I I get ready to go on the escalator up. And the sun is like beaming through, like the way the uh, convention center is set up. And this guy dressed as Jesus was like standing on the escalator with his hands raised, like going up to the sun. Oh my God. And everybody, it was so funny. Oh, it was so funny. funny. So I was like, I got to talk. He was in my video. I was like, I got to talk to him. And like, he was just really cool. Like, everybody was like, Jesus, pray for me. He's like, I got you. I got you. (laughs) Like, He's like like the people in like really sexy looking cosplay. He was like walking up to him and going like this. It was he was freaking hilarious. So I was like, how do you and he was young, man? He was like 19. I was like, how do you wake up? How do you wake up? Uh I dropped an extra 20 on your campaign for gas, Jay. Bruce has Aww. been Bruce has been one of my biggest cheerleaders for this campaign. I don't know if I could ever thank him enough. He has like he has been super chatting other channels to have people talk about it. Uh-huh. He has been like that's amazing. Know, he'd look at the campaign and go, "Oh, it's on an even number or an odd number," and he would just gotta like, make it even. Yeah, I, I can never, I cannot thank this guy enough. You know, like so, I just cannot thank him enough for like he has I, honestly been the biggest cheerleader. All my little haters that come after me, he goes after him. I'm like, you don't have to do that, but he doesn't care. So, cheers to you, brother. Cheers to you. I'm out of coffee, but I got water. I got coconut milk, so or it's mm. coconut water. That's good for you. From Florida. But I mean, the guy like Joey, I just I just can't imagine like waking up and be like, Mom, I'm going to the convention. Okay, dear, what are you doing? 
what are you dressed as? I'm dressed as Jesus. I'm going to the convention. Like that to me, it's like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I love the, it. The MVP over here, Bruce, you're awesome. Hey, like I said, you, your, your money's not going, it's going to a good cause. Cause I read it and I think it's fantastic. So yes. So yes, <laughs> that's me. I, I have the, <laughs> anyways, uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you guys, everyone for all the love today. Um, so I mean, I know some of this, and I'm sure you've said it on plenty of other streams, but um, what was it that made you want to write this book, and did you have any inspiration behind the characters? I, I Like I said, I know some of the answers, but maybe people in the chat don't. Um, so. Yeah, the inspiration behind the, the characters were, a lot of them came from when I was teaching fifth grade in the classroom. And... Uh, yes, my character. To point out wicked so yes <laughs> i say that all the time hey. can i get the audio book on eight track yeah coming your way brother i was just working <laughs> on that um i think the i think the inspiration for me was I, i've shared this on my own personal uh channel but like seven about seven years ago now it was like i was just in like a terrible situation and i just like no, I don't know. Maybe not terrible. Like mentally, it was just I had just left. Like uh, I was like living in Haiti at one point. I was I traveled the world twice over, seeing like the good, bad, and ugly parts of the world. And then it was like I just needed to like slow down a little bit because life was just spiraling a little bit. And I found myself in a situation where I felt like I had no purpose or whatever, and I just was living. I woke up. Went to my job, I ate whatever made me feel good, and came home and watched TV, and woke up and went to a job, and it just was like that was it, null, dull, void of life, and I put on like a ton of weight, and I just was like, just living, like nothing, nothing special, just living, even though I had done all these like really crazy things, and. It was my brother who was like, what are you doing, man? Like, you used to be, like, traveling the world and doing all this stuff. And it's just like, I, I don't know. And he's like, Leave, put on weight, man. Look how you look what you look like. Like, you're not the same. Like, get out and do something. And I, I mentally, I had felt like I had no purpose. Like, I have no value. It's like the good my, – my life – I left the good life behind me, and now this is all that's left – like just like every excuse you could think of, right? And so I just started like, all right, I'm going to walk a mile today. And it was difficult. And then it's like I got to the point where like I'm walking two miles. And I started taking these little tiny victories, these little tiny victories and like making them into bigger victories. So it's like I did a mile today. It was hard, but I did it. Yay, I, I won. And then I finally got back to this point of understanding my value in this world and and the world that we live in and it made and it and for me it made the world just look so beautiful and full of color and all this stuff and when i was trapped into this other world that i was living where it just nothing seemed to matter it almost felt like the world was like black and white like like a rainy gray day you know it's like wow it's gloomy it's a gloomy gray day like that's and so i think a lot of that inspiration came from that achromatic means void without color and uh, and I felt like that's what it would look like if you lived a life without thinking that you have any value. So I saw these young people in the classroom. And I know it's a weird age, 10, 11, 12 year old. And yes. uh, yeah, a lot of them were just. <laughs> I don't have what's the point? What's the point of life? What's the point? What's the purpose? What's this? What's that? They asked these questions at that young age. And I was just. It, it just kind of said I, I it would be neat for if they had like some really cool stories that maybe resembled them in a little bit where they didn't have to be perfect, didn't have to be rich, didn't have to be celebrity, didn't have to have millions of followers on TikTok because that's all they're into now. Didn't have to have all that stuff to have value and purpose. So that's where all that came from, like and just tried to put it all that in one book which was hard to, uh, you know, like, like 
kind of just just to just to put it in a book so in a, in a whole collection of stories so that's Hi, blabs. that's actually where it all came <laughs> from what's up blabs <clears throat> and so i don't know if the young people will get that out of the book but that's kind of like what went into it yeah well no, maybe the older that's what i'm saying like this book isn't just for kids you know and i think all age groups will enjoy it as coming from you know younger ages like fifth grade is probably i would say fifth sixth seventh grade is probably the like would really enjoy this because it's you know like the, the colorful comic book thing and the story is great so the older kids might get that out of it but i think that kids are just going to enjoy that it's they can kind of like escape not kind mm. of but they can escape and just you know i've i've read a few of these newer kids books and they're just so strange it's this, a, this is just this is just fun it tells you you know it's okay to dream and you know question that's the biggest thing in this book that you can question things and and i feel like we're in this world now where the people are telling you not to question stuff to just yeah listen to what they're telling you to do and if that's not right i don't like that at all so i love that about your book that it's, it's uh it's kind of like rebe it's rebelling a little bit but i know that's like kind of what you're about <laughs> but you know what i mean um we see what they do and what they're doing to young people today like all you got to do is go on social media and people are like parents and others are catching they're like why is this book in a third grade classroom teaching about like sexual activity and multiple genders and all that stuff and it's like why are we teaching first grade or something like that that makes i don't no understand sense that and and like, knowing about like your teacher's sexuality i remember if you seen like your if you found out that your teacher was married or like I had in sixth grade my math teacher and English teacher or yeah English teacher were dating we were all like ew we don't want to know that like what they date they have lives outside of school but now it's like you gotta it's know awful. oh she's, Listen, it, it's awful I bumped in when I bumped into like one of my students like in Walmart and it's weird it's just like hi they're like oh coach hi. Jay you go to Walmart <laughs> I'm like yeah i'm a human like everybody else i go to walmart so it's just weird you know and it's just like i don't want them to know what i do after the class like i don't i i would not to, to see some of these teachers and they go on and and they only do this to go on tiktok and get like, oh, more attention to validate the cars themselves. they go on tiktok and they're like yeah i taught my second graders about multiple gender and you're just like what i would never i could never see myself as a teacher doing that like at all like i i don't even i don't even like i don't want them to know anything that i do i don't want them to know that i went to universal studios that day i don't want them to know what movie i saw the next day. i don't i don't want them to know i don't i would never want one of my students to find like my twitter account or youtube yeah account right like i don't want them to know that stuff so i didn't want them it... to know i play video games it was like <laughs> <laughs> it was weird like it is weird it's still kids. weird yeah to see these teachers like all right kids i'm gonna show you a picture this is my husband and i know i'm a guy too and you're like hey man hey. i wouldn't like like normal teachers don't do that you know whatever hetero homosexual whatever one like they don't do that they don't like here's my wife everyone guess what we do when the lights go off it's like what why would you even talk to kids like that isn't they need it? to learn how to read and write and do math. Exactly. So, it's okay to learn and make mistakes. All right. Yes. So, all right, Bruce, I do have a funny story about that. So um, Bruce says Jay beats down students on Fortnite. So on Wednesday, I was the I was the basketball coach. So everybody called me Coach Jay. And I ran on Wednesdays. I was a uh, – we had an after-school program. So it was – and if you and if you're a teacher and you did the after school program, you got a bonus in your check. So I was like, I'll do it once a week and it will help the paycheck get a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. So the after school program was help kids with their homework. Then, like, once it got to a certain thing, we had like uh, video games there they could play and other things that they could do and stuff like that. We most of the time I took them outside and whoever was left, we did kickball or anything we could do outside. Um, but it was Florida, so it got hot. So one, this kid, uh, he ran his mouth about Fortnite. He ran his mouth over and over. I could beat you at Fortnite. I could beat you. I could. Little did he know, I was, I was a closet player. So 
He's like, I could beat you. I could beat you. I could be. So he played Fortnite. He destroyed these kids. You know, it was like. They're making was like, kids cry. <laughs> I was destroying them. Left one, one verse one. I was destroying them left and right. I'm like, I, so we had a thing. It was like, if, if I kill you, you got you to hand over the controller to the next person. So we just played that for like an hour. And that's, like that's where Jay's kids. Fortnite addiction began. Yeah, <laughs> so, so then like I came into school the next day and everyone was like, Coach Jay destroyed like so and so in Fortnite and beat this guy. I was like, Yeah, that's what it was. So my lore grew even bigger. Now, like every kid wanted to like verse me. <laughs> like, <this is> cool. <laughs> I was like, No, 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 do your work, <laughs> no, do your math, <laughs> do whatever. Yeah, when I like the um, your new setup back there. How many you got back there? Three. You got you got stools too to play. That's cool. That's a little arcade back there. Uh, I got Terminator Two. Those are two guns. That's Tron, Tron Legacy, the original. I love the old Tron game. And this is the uh, old Star Wars game. And this actually has Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi from like. This is from 1984. Wow. Like that. Uh, I didn't know it came with the older game, but the old Star Wars game is what I really wanted. But they they put all three games on this one. So the only like there's just... only there's only one more I want to get, and that's the uh, Dragon's Lair game. I don't know if you've ever played that. Yeah, it's like that's first, that's an old school one. First cartoon game. Yeah, mm -hmm. crushing like their it. spirits, getting them ready for the real world. <laughs> yeah. It's weird because that school was some would call it a second. Ch it wasn't a public school. A lot of kids that went to that school is because they got either arrested or kicked out of public school for fighting. It was like whatever. an alternative school. Yeah. So they knew if they messed up at our school, they would be doing they would be doing uh, like virtual school. And like whoever they lived with was if it was grandma or mom, they would sit there and be like. If my child misbehaves here, you better do something. Like I'm like, first of all, I'm not gonna touch. Yeah, not no. gonna hit, not gonna touch, not gonna yell, not gonna do any of that. Um, because they knew if they messed up at our school that they were not gonna let their child be at home all day on the computer. And some of these kids were so poor they didn't have a computer in their home, let alone the internet. Which is weird to think that people in America don't have internet access to internet in their home. And so uh, most of the kids, most, I would say 80% was, uh, they were very, very well behaved because the shock of them being, and if, and if they had did, did well at our school, they were going to be let back in to the public school. So only about 10% would show up. And like, I could always tell immediately when they're like, uh, you're getting a new student coach. Jay I was like, yeah, no problem. First thing they would like give me the middle finger or they would try to like these are like 10 year olds, man. Damn. They're like, F this homework. And I'm like, yep, goodbye. And they're like, you can't kick me out. It's like, I can't kick you Actually, out. You and can. I am kicking you out. And uh, off they go. And then the the crazy thing is, is I was the, the basketball coach and our team. Our team was awesome. Like we we were I have like two two years district chance we could not win states but at least districts two and and that was a way out for a lot of these kids like if they did well on, at least with us they did basketball a lot of them got scholarships to like either community college doesn't matter but like community college is just as good and uh and some other schools so they weren't gonna mess up on the basketball team so when i was like the coach like everybody in high school was like do not upset Coach Jay because if he kicks me out of the team, I got nothing. So there was always like the math teacher would call me and be like, "Can you come down here?" Like the basketball players, I I'd walk down there. They would see me coming down there, and they would be like, <laughs> "It would be like straight up real quick." Be behaved. I'm like, <laughs> "What is the problem here?" And then I would make them run laps. Like if I heard like they were disruptive at lunch because I had elementary, so I did the elementary lunch. And, um, you know, so this is a high school. So I would make them run laps until like, I'm like, are we going to have any more problems in the math room? So it was like one of those things, but I, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, we had the time I was there, 
the four four plus years I was there was as the basketball coach was was awesome. So that sounds like fun, and that yeah. just proves because you're not like a, a mean person. Like of obviously you were a bit strict, but it just shows that when you're just you know stern, you can actually make some way with. You know, I don't, well, I don't know. If trouble with trouble like kids is the right term because it's not. Some of them no. is probably because of their environment and stuff. You know what I mean? But like sometimes teachers are just like straight up mean or, you know, super yeah, aggressive. I, and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't I mean, help the kids. So it was more like trying to understand where they were coming from and letting them know this is it, buddy. Like you really like I can help you. I I I, I can like you can make mistakes in front of me. You can make mistakes. You can like when we were like when the basketball game started. Some, some of the high schoolers like their language was a little like i never cussed in front of like you know so they their language was really strong at times because the heat of the game it's battle you know the other schools talking trash you know they're making fun of us because most of the students i had on my team were really poor some of them couldn't even afford shoes and it was like they would laugh at them and may and they would just be like f f this and I'm just like keeping my calm, you know. And so some of the other teachers and the principal is like, "Are you okay over there?" Like I was like, "Everything's fine. It's just the heat of battle. Just let them get it out. It's gonna be fine." So it's all about like understanding where they're coming from and knowing that some students are here, and some students are here, and the ones that are here are gonna behave differently than the ones that are here. But you got to figure out how to get them up on the same level. And then once they get to this level, it's cool. But again, there's some that just don't want to hear it. You know, there's some that just don't want to hear it. And it's like you could just tell right away. It's like, uh, you're not talking to me that way, Billy. Out mm -hmm. you go. You know? Yeah. Like, like out you go. So it, it was, yeah, it was can... a cool time. It was a lot. It was tiring. But it was that was a, that was another thing that I did in my life to kind of get me back into who I am today. Yeah. So. Well, you've done, a, you've done a lot. You did a lot of traveling. A lot. You did a lot of stuff, man. But so like out of your traveling, I don't know. You've probably answered this before and I probably know the answer. And I just can't remember. Um, do you have a favorite place that you travel to and like a memory maybe that will always be special to you from one of these places you travel? Because like I said, you've been to um, a lot of places. So it's got to be hard to pick, but it's it's weird to say Haiti because it's such a terrible place, like of all the stuff that's going on. Haiti was like such a unique time. But the one place that I really loved was uh, was China. I loved going to China really i it's it is just not what the new like the politics and stuff aside the people there are just beyond friendly and nice the food there was excellent and as a history person going back in time and seeing like the great wall and some of these some of these temples that have been up like they're like older than jesus they're like five thousand years old right jesus has been on the earth about two thousand years and to see that stuff is like, it's it's really something. You know, America is like only 200, what, 200 years old? And their history like goes way back, man. Mm -hmm. Like, like way back. So it's for a history person, it's really, it was really cool. I, I went to China seven times. Wow. Um, Cambodia was really nice, but the killing fields in Cambodia is one of the most, spookiest places i think i've ever i've ever been that was just a weird like if you don't know cambodia had a time where they're in like this war and there was just they called it this one area where they just slaughtered like they they, they just slaughtered hundreds of thousands of people and it's all like a giant memorial there and they actually have like places where they've kept like all the bones and stuff you can like go into the museum and see like some of the mass graves that they picked up and it was like uh it's it just it's just weird walking into a place into an area like that where hundreds of thousands of people have died and it's just super quiet and it's just it's just it, it, i'll never forget that that was uh cambodia was a unique experience but it, yeah i think if you told me jay you can only go to one place it would probably be china i've been to japan it was cool I want to go there. That's actually on my um, list to try and go within the next year, especially since they lifted the restrictions. 
Yeah, um, it was really cool. nice. I don't know what I just me. It was just uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. What's up, Grant? Yeah, there's a lot of places that I want to go. I mean, they're lifting the restrictions for a lot of places now. So hopefully in the next couple of years, I get some traveling. Dan says, in. nah, they eat dog. Man, oh, it's, only in one, Damn, it's only in one area. I didn't go to that area. I didn't go over there. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, what? I'm sorry, where was this? How many uh, people were buried in the Great Wall? I have no idea, Ryan. Probably thousands. Aaron apparently has worked in Haiti as well. And he said the people are really nice over there. So... He can vouch yeah. for that. Well, we know Jay likes years. it over the as they, yeah. Were you there for three years straight? Like no, you actually no, basically I, I, because uh no, it was more like you had to he stayed there, but then you had to leave because of visa, like to get a special visa and the way the passport stuff worked. And then so I would come back to the States and then I'd go back and I'd stay in the States for a while, then I'd go back and stay and then go back, then go it, it, it was a constant back and forth. Grand. So <laughs> Lost your chance at 28 drip to South Korea. Oh, I would like to go to Israel. Yeah, that's cool. There's a lot of places I'd like to go. I'll get there eventually. It just the last couple of years really uh couldn't really do anything. At least I couldn't. Yes. Well, who doesn't love egg rolls? They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Um, I hope Jay and Amanda are both doing well. Says Ryan. I am. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, Imagine Ireland's I on my to bucket be the list. The only black guy in Ireland. <laughs> I can just picture him around there vlogging. <laughs> um, that's actually <laughs> on my list. My list. I want Italy is number one, but I want to go to Italy, Greece, uh, Ireland, Japan. I mean, there's a lot so of places I want. Greece, to go. That's out of the Greece looks. Greece it just looks a, so beautiful. I had a friend that lived there, and I was supposed to go with her. Like, I in have video high up on my channel when I went to Greece. It was awesome. And uh, I did learn, like, everyone was saying, if you go to Greece, go in the off season. I was like, they have an off season? Like, go in the off season. Go in the off season. So I tried to figure out what the off season was. And I can't, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but I ended up going during their, not their off season. And everything was dirt cheap. We would go to, like, see, like, the old buildings and stuff that they had set up. And then they had all these uh, restaurants. And we'd sit in it, like, uh, who I was with, we just sit all to ourselves. And it was like the whole restaurant was empty. And there was like nine or ten of these beautiful looking restaurants with these old carvings and stuff. No one would be in it. And they were like, oh, my God, we got people here. They would like sit around you. They'd be like, here, try this. No, it's on the house. Try this. It was a blast. Oh, yeah. Scotland. Probably Egypt, too. That would be a lot of fun. There's a lot, I, would, I just want to go everywhere. Um, I love Greece. You, I, I didn't know you could do back. monthly donations on Streamlabs. I'm sorry that's not working. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't know that either. I mean, I have a a kick and a a Twitch. I do monthly stuff there. By the by the way, how are you liking Kick, Jay? You're liking it over there? Much better than Twitch. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna drop our links right now. Um, yeah, I've been doing quite a few streams over there, and eventually, I'm supposed to captain a ship over on kick or something with jay so we'll see you guys see a lot of me playing. when i get back from vegas yeah, yeah we got this i uh yeah we have fun there's mine and here's jay's uh we're kick is new so oh thank you ryan's got it too double drops there's jay's link too um do you you got i think you got to put it in your link tree your kick oh uh, um, yeah i gotta add anyway this. uh i gotta take my twitch out you're taking it out completely hmm I think I'm done. Like I, I think I'll go on Twitch maybe once a week just to promote the kick. Well, that's what I'm doing. But my thing is, I don't want to get rid of Twitch just in case. Like I think Kick's gonna be good, but you I'm never know. I'm not gonna know. delete it. But well, yeah, it but like... I don't, I don't want to stop just in case. Like, like I, you're, I'm doing the same thing once, twice a week on, on Twitch. But I'm really having a good time over on Kick. So I've been, I've been on there a lot. Um, yeah, I, I do not see over. how they can keep 95% on kick. Well, they don't use PayPal for one. That's what I'm not coming at PayPal. I just know that they take a huge chunk from businesses when you use them. So I think that's actually a big thing. Stripe only takes. Oh, I don't know, but it's definitely not as much as PayPal. Um. Anyways, uh, but yeah, and kicks also still in beta, not to go on this whole thing about kick, but it's still in beta. So, um, the, the bugs and stuff that are happening right now will be 
fixed eventually. I mean, Kick's only been, I made my account around Christmas time, and I think that was when I first, like, they first dropped. If not, it was only maybe a month or two, so they haven't even been around for a year yet. So they're they're doing pretty well for a company that's in a startup for the most part. Mm. Um. Anyways, um, speaking of, I was going to ask you, I, you kind of said it, but what I, I think Fortnite is probably like your favorite video game, but let's go with before Fortnite. What was your favorite video game? your favorite video game franchise. I don't think I know this, or maybe I do and I just forgot. I like, uh, I, I just like games that I could play with like my brother. I think that's like a big bonding thing that we've always had. So it was like Contra, SOCOM, um, things like that, that we could just play on the same team and win like those type of games where we always would look for those type of games, any type of game that I could be. So my favorite franchise, I don't know if I have a favorite franchise. Mm-hmm. Um, Fortnite no, just, is Fortnite it, for me now is only, I like it because I'm so, I have so much to do. It's like, I don't have to like with Harry Potter. It's like, I need to invest like three hours at a time. Yeah, because it's like I, you're going on, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's just like you're going on adventures, stuff. Yeah, An hour, yeah. like you never go anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like Fortnite. It's like, all right, I got a lunch break. You know, I got an hour to kill. Okay, I could just do Fortnite for an hour, talk to the chat, and then go. But that's how I, I feel like, about Dead by Daylight. Like I love playing, right. you know, adventure games. Like I'm into Resident Evil Four right now, but I have to be able to dedicate at least two hours to finish a chapter because I don't want to stop in the middle of a chapter on that game and then be confused when I log back on in a week. So I get that. that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. So right now, like uh, I am loving sea of thieves like no one's been i love because. sea of thieves i told you i've been telling you for two years yeah, you didn't want to listen to me i didn't want and, to play on keyboard but i'm doing but it's, it but it's good on keyboard um but yeah you can you can play on uh controller it, funny enough i i'm excited to play with jay because if he asks me buttons i'll be able to actually tell him what to do everyone else i play with is on a controller so they're like what button do i do for this i'm like uh google it i don't know i play a mouse and keyboard um but real quick, thank you. Uh, t- it was anonymous, but whoever donated ten dollars um, wow. to me, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, chunky. Have you seen Blab's character? <laughs> yeah, really fat. Uh, Jay, who would win in a really basketball fat. game between? Uh, I've always beat him in basketball because I've I played basketball all through high school and college. Um, but he beat me at any at anything else. He's faster than me. I don't think he's stronger than me. I'm but uh, he's faster stream. than me. He's like <laughs> everything else. He's better. Everything else. He's better. We played a lot of softball and like he get he's he's excellent. Excellent athlete. Uh, but ba- when it came to basketball, I just that was like the only sport I was actually good at. I never got picked in basketball. I was like decent at it. You're like because four I'm so foot short. nothing. So I'm saying, but so what? I'm still de- I can just crawl between. I'm you know short works. But no, I never got picked. Like they would pick these girls that were just like terrible, but they were like ten feet tall, and they could just go whoop, and they'd get picked. And I'm sitting there running around like crazy, doing good job. I'm like, you know what? So I did softball, <laughs> softball and volleyball. <laughs> That's what I played. How you play volleyball? What do you mean? I'm a. I got a mean serve. I'm strong. <laughs> excuse me lady marine wow okay <laughs> jay versus eric july he would he would probably he would probably dominate me <laughs> only flabs wow jay versus ryan versus jeremy yeah our like oh yeah didn't you play no we were Are you were been supposed trying to? to put it together i me and ryan would like double team Ripa and let Jeremy shoot. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy is terrible <laughs> at basketball. <laughs> I want to see Johnny versus Jay. Johnny would probably win. Thanks, Lady Marine. Love you too. I'm you like roasting like, me. I'm like I'm bigger than I what I was <laughs> like back in the day. I'm not as fast as these guys. They're a lot. They're a lot thinner and faster than me now. So. Maybe you like guys... 20, I don't know. I wouldn't say twenty. Maybe ten years ago. Maybe, maybe. Are you, are you guys going to any? Well, I don't know why I'm asking Jay because he usually gets told like three days before events. I'm surprised he <laughs> knows about Vegas um so far in advance. But are you guys are you guys going to the anime matsuri this year? You don't know. I figured you guys would have like a panel or something because you know last year didn't it if go? If we so go, well? we'll have a panel. If we don't go, we won't have a panel. 
Oh, well, that makes sense. That's all <laughs> I know. If we don't go, we won't be there. If we go, we'll be. When there. is it? August. <laughs> um, yeah, it's in August, and I, I I'm not a hundred percent if I'm going, but I just would like to, because, like I said, I'll meet other YouTubers, but as well as just go to Texas. I've never been to Texas. I'm trying to go to different places within this next year. So I don't know. I'm gonna try. It'd be fun. I didn't think I was going to make it to the Orlando meetup last year, and then I moved here. So there you go. Mm. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. So I do. I am going to be on Twitch at least once a week still. I'm finishing Resident Evil 4 over there, but I am loving Kick. Kick is just... So as a creator, it is more in favor of the creators, and that's that's really it. They they don't have much censorship over there and all that either, so it's uh, I'm enjoying it. And, Oh, look at yeah. that. Too high strong. I gave you Where's my Jay? prime sub on. I just Twitter. highlighted it. Well, wake up, Jay. That's what I'm that's why I'm talking about it. <laughs> oh, I, I was I was checking something out. I was checking the uh the campaign and some people What's bought it? the book. So thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. This is everyone said this is just me. Buy Jay's book. I get a few people in my chat to like wicked. Buy Jay's book. But really, buy it. It's good. Or donate it. It's wonderful. Kids need this stuff. Trust me. Just listen, just go into Target and go into the book section and look at the crap that they have there. And you're going to want to come buy this book real quick for any kid in your life or for even yourself. Like I like I said, I enjoyed it. Like there's 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 a little bit of everything in there and it ends on a cliffhanger. So I, I need the second one. I, I hope Jay's going to be working on that soon. I need he, to know what just happens. Gave away the ending. I said it's a cliffhanger. They don't know that. That's good. Yo, you said that. Your brother said it already. <laughs> Lee said it before in one of your streams. That's why I said it. Shame on him. I probably told him not to say that. Okay, sorry, I ruined it. That's no, okay. that's good because people know now <laughs> when they it ends, they're gonna want more. You ruined everything. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Bye. Jay's running the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. I tr I'm trying to be quiet. There's so much more I want to say, but I don't want to say something wrong, so I'm being quiet. Um, <laughs> you know what? Shush, hate to. The Orlando. <laughs> I don't know if when the Orlando meetup is. Last year we did it in October. But a lot of people have sent us suggestions that we should do it around Megacon. Is it? Megacon? Wait, was that really spoilers? Or are you just teasing me? No, it's not spoilers. <laughs> Stop. I'm making me feel bad. It was. Uh, so the meetup might be pushed to February during Megacon. We just y'all got to let Jeremy know which one you like better. Orlando. Oh, I mean, October or <laughs> I say Orlando. I told him I said that's even better to do it around Megacon because there's a convention there. Universal Studios is there. People want to stay. Um, we have a panel at MegaCon. People could come to that. Then we could just do a meetup afterward. Like I think that's. I and think the that's weather's better. the weather's good too. So for people coming, you know, um, that aren't used to the heat, I I don't think it was that bad here in October. But some people, probably, it wasn't I mean, bad. It was still but a little Lulu warm. is right. It was super busy because it's Halloween, and Halloween gets crazy here. So February oh, would you. not be crazy at all. Uh, I think it's the last weekend in February next year. Okay. So oh, wait, if he does it, is he going to skip October this year or do October? Yeah, yeah. We'll and then push it. we'll just oh, push it to okay. February. Okay. Bruce said yeah. that would be fantastic after Megacon. Yeah. See, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I mean, that would be because a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, so I know. Well, actually, the hotel prices are probably a bit more around Halloween because of all the they are, events they're, going they're, on. They're almost because they do percent. So the prices also go up for MegaCon, but not as much because I actually did have a hotel during the Orlando meetup to so and it wasn't exactly cheap. Uh, and normally it is. Um, what's the weather like in February? It's it's beautiful here in uh, February, yeah. America. It's not bad it's not, at all. It's not too hot. I would say like 70s, maybe 80s, the highest. But I am getting used to the weather because I was walking around at 89 degrees the other day and I was like, this is great. <laughs> so I'm probably going to melt over the summer, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I, it could be hoodie weather. So, yeah. Yeah. Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, hey, yeah. everyone head over to Red Bandana Gaming. That's where I'm going live at 830. <laughs> oh, Okay. We right drop the link. Me. If you got a um I'll I'll get it. Hold on. I got this. Uh oh, look at that. I didn't expect the link drop. I got it. Of course. I got you. Everybody go over here. I gotta get the chin. And and I'll also sub. Wait, gotta YouTube. Hold on. Give me a second. One of my mods are probably gonna get it faster. 
Yeah, you're almost <laughs> at a thousand do. too. I know. I got a big jump yesterday uh, when I did the fight milk. Of uh, there was quite a few people too. They were like, "That was badass." I'm subbing. I'm like, "Thanks." I'm dying. Oh, it, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. And he said, "Not that many girls do it." So here we go. All right. Is there a link? Oh, there it is. You'll probably get it by the end of the month. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I keep getting people that like want me to go live so that they can raid me, but sometimes it's just so late, and I'm like, I, what am I gonna do getting on here on YouTube at 2 a.m.? Everyone that hangs out with me is asleep. <laughs> so, um, raid you? Yeah, like you know, you can raid on YouTube now. Did you know that? Yeah, I don't. I don't do any of that stuff. Yeah, well, you have to. There's certain things like you can't have like your subscriptions private and stuff like that. Like you have to have change a couple of things but anyways i just dropped the link guys after this stream uh well jay's gonna take a little break because we're gonna be ending this soon um but he'll be over there so go show him some love over there as well this was fun do i did do two eggs americus so double fight milk is four eggs i only had two eggs though so i only had to do two jay did four yeah, that was with rum and coffee. No wonder your stomach hurt. The coffee is what did it, I think, for you because I did it with I had this mojito mix, which I think actually helped because there's mint in there. So I had this like mojito mix drink. I poured that in with um vanilla almond milk, and it wasn't that bad. But the bubbliness from the drink almost got me because I got to the end and I was like, oh god, I got a burp. No, <laughs> and then the egg had to go, but I did it. I, I got it. Of course, I would love to. Well, I, met, uh, I met Red Bandana Gaming at MegaCon. We hung out for a little bit. It's pretty cool. Nice. I wish I wouldn't have missed it, but it I don't know. It just wasn't a good weekend for me. I wanted to come and catch your guys' panel too, but it just it just didn't work out. But I, I know you guys had a great turnout, so that's awesome. I didn't even know what I was doing up there. <laughs> you didn't even you didn't even know. I think like a, a week before I was like, so you guys are going? And Jay was like, I don't know. I was like, what the heck do you mean? I just heard Jeremy say you're going. He's like, oh, <laughs> No, he's on the panel. I didn't on know the I was. Gonna, I didn't know I was on the panel either because I'm like, I'm not Jeremy or Ryan. They're like freaking superstars. What do you mean? Man. Everyone loves you. I know, but I, I like, I get that, and I appreciate. I know what it. you're saying, but, but uh, people want to see you. Those guys are like uh, mega superstars in YouTube. So, I think if cool. there was any other questions I wanted to ask you, I mean, I, I've, I've known Jay for a little bit now, so it's like I kind of know, but like you guys might not know. Kind of know. Yeah, I mean, you've been on this international book tour, so I'm sure everyone has asked you every question under the sun. I'm surprised there wasn't any memes, but we haven't really said anything silly. So, uh, but Jay, Jay literally will just like sneeze and 10 memes are born. I know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I said I like balloons one time and like that thing just freaking went nuclear. <laughs> Who doesn't like balloons? I, I really hope no one somebody ryan texts me he's like i bet someone's gonna bring you some balloons to the meetup i'm like no i hope they don't bring me balloons to the meetup thank you uh, ryan just a quick shout out to ryan reaper he's always he's always such a big promoter thank you that's really nice of you he, he's good at the thumbnails and stuff too i appreciate you ryan just Baru, do you have a cat oh god here we go are you allowed to have cats in your country I don't know. The I funny thing about Disparu is like I always if I'm always live with him, I always make him like grab the Funko Pop. Uh, he did it on mine, mine too. <laughs> he tops because, in and he's like, tell him to grab it. He's got because, long arms. Yeah, because when he does it, when he does it, everyone's like, he's got super long arms. And he's like, no, it's the camera. It's really weird. It's it's like me like being able to touch the games behind me. He just he just I can't. Like they're they're actually further back than. I like your little you know. that that little booth looks like some retro booth that would be sitting in a bar that has yeah. arcades. Oh, never mind. So, Check like out. from that other angle, it looked like there was like stickers on it. That's yeah, what it looks like. So that makes me think of like some some not in a bad way either, but like some hole in the wall bar that has they arcade machines. That's cool. I bet yeah. you Jay doesn't use them. <laughs> it's get you better, Americas. Not really. <laughs> not really. I mean, it came with them. Yeah, this Bruce says, yeah, everyone's always amazed how close they are. I remember the first time I saw that, I was like, I was like, someone, I think it was Epic Mike. He was like, look at Disparu, Disparu, grab your, what Funko Pops you there? And he just went, and he picked it up, and we're like, what? 
what it's so weird because they look so far away it's like are you recording in a closet what the <laughs> in a closet i gotta have this running i used to have he a scared the crap here. out of me i moved the keyboard over to uh i put it in the other room just threw leaves for like a minute when he's on my stream and then he uh, i'm like looking at my other screen talking to my chat and he's hops back in. And he's like all right and he just like hops back in i'm like wow okay welcome back <laughs> this room's funny i gotta have i gotta have him back on again um, we were oh, yeah, talking no, about I... like uh, you probably know about this, Jay. I'll, I know you got to go in a minute, so we'll wind down. But um, how Sylvester Stallone has a list of people that he won't work with in Hollywood, and it's Alyssa Milano, the cast of the Connors, George Taki. <laughs> it's kind of really funny, but George Takai. Ta oh, did I say his name? I don't even know. You said yeah, George Taki. <laughs> Takis are like <laughs> potato <laughs> chips that you eat. Takis are like the worst potato chip style snack. <laughs> Have you ever had a Taki? Is uh, what are they? Hold on, let me They're see. Are those the, are those those really hard ones that are like hot, supposed to be hot? I right, look them up right now. Look them up. Look them up. Look up Takis. They are horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Oh yeah, them. they're they're hard too, right? Like they're supposed to be like tortilla, but they're rolled do, up. This brew, do you have these in your? You gotta share a picture. Where is it? Americus, you know what? You guys could have um. Nobody corrected me when I said it. Not even Disparu when we were on the stream. So thank you. Now, Jay, and I won't be dumb. Takai. I don't know who that is. I'm going to call I mean, him I George Takis from no. now on. <laughs> Great. Now now there's going to be something born from that. It's, Hold on. Let me pull up a... Oh, so this person, he doesn't deserve his name pronounced correctly. So that's why you didn't correct me. <laughs> yeah, they have a bunch of those uh, Takis. I, I'm not into them. I like... If I get, like, a spicy chip, I like... Um, oh, shoot. Flamin' no, Hot I Cheetos. That. I can't... They won't let me click on a picture? What, of Takis? It keeps sending me to Amazon to buy it. Jay's what? the best and his laugh is top tier. It is. He's got that belly laugh that makes you laugh. All right. This will. This is good enough. Here you go. Let me see. Do you have these in your country? <laughs> Probably not. These are the worst. These are the worst things for you. You share my screen. These are Takis. Look at that blue one. It gives you a Smurf mouth. It's awful. Crunchy. Yeah, roll, I've tried cocky. them. They're not, like I said, I'd rather, if I'm going to eat something like that, I'll just have Flamin' Hot Cheetos. At least they're like. Not they hot. are. I don't know. Let me, sh let me show you. All right, hold on. They don't have them, just Bruce said. Yes, A2 knows. Garden Salsa Sun Chips for the win. Uh, Let's see. No, Don, don't give people ideas. I get enough stuff sent to my P.O. box, okay? I don't need those. I'm not going to eat them. I'll send them to Don. <laughs> Galactic Star Cruiser food. Oh, yeah. $500 for a bite of some goop. This is what people do with Takis nowadays. Oh, God. All right. This is really gross. <laughs> Well, this stream took a turn. Hold on. Talking about the, just because I said a word wrong. Thanks for... I'm glad Jay let me know now. Now I'm not going to sound dumb, even though... George Takis. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> I uh, thought that was his name. <laughs> this is Mr. Avocado. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Boy. He, zombie every time I see him, he's bigger. Zombie, uh, Takis zombie fire noodles. He just eats food. Uh, ten thousand calorie Takis. Look at that! Look at those views, Disparu. Two point four million. Yeah, that's why he's like this now. He used to be like a. I didn't watch him, but I, I've seen videos like talking about his like weight and health downfall. He used to be like a vegan that yeah. was skinny, and now look, oh, it's nasty. Look at all that food, man. But a lot of the stuff he eats, some of his thumbnails are bad. Are like they're all like like Takis. Hot Cheeto There was fire a video noodles. where he like did a he did a, a duty on his chair. Oh yeah, see so he's kissing Gross. his boyfriend there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. He's ew, pretty, ew. He's pretty gross. <laughs> yeah. But the views, man, like <laughs> he gets like four million views a video. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that so many people watch that. They just want to see a guy die. I think. Well, yeah, same thing with that girl. I'm not gonna go. With, I forgot. I don't know. What's her name? Eugenia. She's like very tiny. She's like has an eating disorder, and she yeah, it's the other hardcore way. Like he's too big, and she's too tiny, and the internet just like can't get enough of watching these people. It's kind of weird. Yeah, Eugenia Coney. 
It's actually really sad. I'm not making fun of her. I feel bad for her. I think her mom like benefits from her or some somehow. I don't know. It's crazy. Like dying right in front of us. You've seen it, right? You know who I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a, yeah, it's 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 really sad. But yeah, they yeah. go around eating like Takis. Like and Takis is like the worst. Really? Chip Maybe ever. I should get a cat, but I'll just keep it away from Jay. Five million views if I just record a cat. I'm sure there's one on somewhere around here. Um, oh, she's young, yeah. Gravy. I think she's even younger than I am. Maybe 20s. If not, maybe she's like 30. I don't know. She's been around for a bit, though. But okay, we're gonna we're gonna wind down because I know Jay's got more he's got to do. He's still on his international book tour. Um, <laughs> yeah, what do you yeah. got? What do you got going on, Jay? I know you're going to to Vegas tomorrow or something. You're on the way, yeah, right? So tomorrow. so you're not gonna have any streams coming up, but just let them know what you got. Going I on. I I don't know if I'll do my Saturday stream. I don't know where I'm gonna be, but uh, hopefully, if I do it from the car, then maybe we'll do it for a little bit in the car. Uh, you should. We'll Everyone loves those are. videos. And then uh, once I get back from Vegas, it's, um, you know, we're going to close out the book and get it to the printer. I don't know what my May schedule is going to be like with the book. Uh, I might not uh, might not be around too much. I know Ripa took almost two months off of YouTube and social media to get the books mailed out to people as quick as possible. So it was that might where I might be. So I don't know. I don't know wow. like what what's going to happen but uh yeah I get back to making pirate videos and everything else and hopefully I'll take this week and uh organize like my online I really want to get an online calendar like I want to do a member stream I want to do this I want to but I can do it I just have to get it I just got to get my days organized so like that's that's what I'm doing so we'll see we'll see how that goes uh pirate video. yeah if you don't know i run a pirate channel too that's my um, favorite channel that's my someone favorite drop channel the link. It's, it's a lot of fun i am one of his members and he does a podcast every week with x-wing and the, random uh, guests and it's a lot of fun yeah i made the emojis um it's fun they go for an it's, hour they had jane on last week and I, everyone man. loves hearing jane talk she's so smart i could just listen to jane talk for hours um but yeah so if you uh it's different. It's just called History of Pirates. Just look up History of Pirates. Yeah, it's in. I have his link tree in my description, so it's on there. Um, it's it's a great channel. If you like his, even if you're not super into pirates, but you're into history, the videos are very entertaining. Um, I'm into both history and pirates, so yeah, it's good. And like I said, he has his members. If you're a member, he does a podcast just for members once a week, and it's a uh, it's it's fun. You get to see Jay in a pirate hat. Who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks for having me on. I know you've been patient trying. I, was trying I know, to you're it. busy. It's okay. And and this is still day. new. I'm still um, new to going live on here. Really, it's been like maybe two months. I'm getting the hang of it, kind of. Yeah, subscribe to it, Americus. You would like it. Don't we all, Gravy? Don't be all. Okay. Um, that's it. That's what Jay's got going on. Make sure you buy his book. Follow him, subscribe. All of his stuff is in there. Um, his link, the, his kick isn't in his link tree, but it, I did, I did have it in the chat. He's trying to grow over there. We're all trying to kind of take over kick over there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Jay, for coming. On. I know you're busy, so I appreciate that you did, and I hope, uh, hope you guys had fun. I had fun. I loved it. Thank you for having me on. Of course. Okay. All right, guys, we're out. Make sure you go. Uh, what ch what's the name of the channel again that you're going on? I put the link in. Red Bandana Gaming. Red Bandana Gaming. Okay. All right, guys, you're all great. Bye.